What's up everybody, this is Steve Stolacci and today we are looking at the Firefly acoustic guitar. This is the DA02, it's a dreadnought style body and it's got some pretty good specs for the price. This guitar is under 200 bucks, it's listed at 199. For the price, it's really great, whether it's a, you know, a beginner to intermediate guitar, it sounds really good, it's pretty well made. I'm really enjoying playing it so far. Um, I wanna thank Firefly for sponsoring this video, sending this out to me uh, for a demo. Uh, we're going to look at the good, bad, and the ugly, and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So to start, we have a solid spruce top, which is really nice at the price point. The back, sides, and the headstock are all rosewood veneer, so there is a different wood underneath it, and then the rosewood veneer is what's on top. The back of this is really beautiful, and we got this nice piece of flame maple on the back, which is a nice touch. It's a really classy looking guitar. Um, it's got abalone or abalone inlay here on the sound hole and on the binding. As far as the tuners go, it's pretty solid, stays in tune really nice. The nut and the saddle are both made of bone, which for this price point is really nice. That's something that you would typically do to upgrade your acoustic guitar, and this comes with its stock. Fit and finish on mine in particular, um, I would say it's pretty okay. There's a couple of spots where, I don't know if it's glue or what, but there's a couple of marks here and there, you know, a couple of, um, a couple of flaws, but nothing too serious. It also has um, the compensated bridge, which is really nice, so that the intonation is much better. I will say that for this guitar, I did have to do some setting up to my particular spec, which is not uncommon at any price point. You always wanna set the guitar up to your specs, but I will say that the nut was cut a little bit high and so was the saddle, which is really, it's a normal thing. I would rather them come too high than too low, and it's nothing that, you know, a couple of files and a little bit of work can't fix. I have a video of me fixing this guitar up, getting it up to my playing spec, and I'll link that when it's ready to go. I haven't edited it yet, so when that's live, I'll put it up here. Other specs, we have nice inlay work. We also have a real rosewood fretboard, um, which is really nice. It was really dry when I got it, so I just put some lemon oil on it, as you'll see in that, if you watch the other video. Really nice, it looks great, it feels great, and it's a overall nice guitar. All right, so let's get to some playing and hear what it sounds like. What you're gonna be hearing is the Bayer Dynamic M160 ribbon mic, and I'm just gonna be going straight in. I'll probably put a little bit of uh, EQ and compression on it, but you'll get the overall vibe of how the guitar sounds. I wanted to record this kind of in a professional way so that if it holds up under these conditions and still sounds good, then you know it's a good guitar. So let's, uh, let's do it. Start off with just some open chords so you guys can hear um, what it sounds like. Here it's got a really nice sustain, really nice classic dreadnought type of sound. And um, let's play along with it here. So really nice to strum along with. Um, again, sounds just like a dreadnought should. Um, let's drop the pick, let's do a little bit of a finger picking thing.
Now let's uh, take the pick again and um, mess around with some more lead stuff. So you can see it plays pretty comfortable all the way up the neck, no matter where you're at. All right, so that is a look at the Firefly acoustic guitars. Um, they just came out with these. These are fairly new. Um, they just announced them a few weeks or months ago at this point, and I'm so happy that they thought of me to send this out to for a demo. I'm really enjoying it, just like the electrics. I've done a bunch of their electric demos if you wanna check them out on the channel. Um, for the price point, you really cannot beat these. Even if you're a beginner, like I said, intermediate, doesn't really matter. These are playable, great sounding guitars at an incredible price, really. So if you're a new guitar player, you seriously will hit a home run with one of these once you get it set up in playing spec. I really have no complaints about it, to be honest, other than you know the basic setup things that I needed to take care of in the beginning. But right now, it's a excellent playing, excellent sounding acoustic guitar. So if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.